Hello friends, my name is Elena. In today's video, we will understand the very important topic in corporate law, corporate personality. What is corporate personality? Whenever a company is formed, it has its own legal personality separate from its members. This means that the company and its members are two separate entities. How did the concept of corporate personality develop? This concept was first developed in the case of Oakes v. Turquand in 1843. In this case, the court stated that a company is a distinct legal person, separate from its members. What are the advantages of corporate personality? There are several benefits of corporate personality. Some of the main advantages include legal personality. The company is a separate legal entity with its own rights and obligations. Perpetual existence. The existence of the company continues perpetually, even if its members change. Capacity to sue and be sued. The company can file lawsuits and be subject to legal action in its own name. Limited liability. The liability of the company's members is limited. Some scenarios where corporate personality is not recognised. However, there are situations where corporate personality may not be recognised. Some of these situations include fraud. If the formation of the company is fraudulent, corporate personality may not be recognised. Illegality. If the company is formed for illegal purposes, Corporate personality may not be recognised. Misuse of corporate form. If the company is used for personal gain, corporate personality may not be recognised. Conclusion. Corporate personality is an important legal concept that provides many benefits to businesses. It helps businesses operate more efficiently and reduce their risks. I hope In the Oaks v Turquand case, a person formed a company and appointed himself as the manager. The company borrowed money and failed to repay it. The lender filed a lawsuit against both the company and the individual. The court ruled that the company is a separate legal entity and the lender can hold the company responsible for the debt, even though the manager of the company may not personally be liable. In the Salomon v. Salomon and Company Littered case, a person formed a company and appointed himself as the manager. The company borrowed money and failed to repay it. The lender filed a lawsuit against both the company and the individual. The court stated that the company is a separate legal entity and the lender can hold the company responsible for the debt, even though the majority of the company's property belongs to its members. In the Lee v. Lee Air Farming Limited case, a person formed a company and appointed himself as the manager. While working for the company, the person died. The person's wife claimed compensation from the company. The court stated that the company is a separate legal entity and the wife can claim compensation from the company, even though the person was the manager of the company. Hope you enjoyed this topic. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe to my channel for more interesting content.